Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're well and hello if you are new here. So good to have you. You guessed it by the title. I wanted to talk to you about Burberry scarves and take a look at if they are still worth it. You know, is a Burberry scarf worth the investment? Should you get one? And do I still love mine? How is a Burberry scarf in 2022? So let's get into it. So when I was 21, I got this scarf. So I have now had this scarf for seven years. So if you're wondering if it passes the test of time, then yes, it does. Seven years going strong. Here is my gorgeous Burberry scarf. Absolutely love it. There is no wear and tear on it. And when I say I wear it for like six months of the year, because it's very cold in England, I genuinely wear it for six months of the year. There is one mark on it because I need to get it dry cleaned. That is probably just from wearing it and dropping like food on it or something. Because as much as I love my designer items, I'm not the most cautious with them because I actually wear them. Like I wear things into the ground. To say I've worn this into the ground, the quality is still absolutely perfect. I used to think, oh, I can't keep it because it's from my ex boyfriend, but. That's so silly, I absolutely love it. And I think that proves it's such a forever gift. You know, I was given this for my 21st birthday and I still wear it seven years on. So if you were wondering if a Burberry scarf is good in terms of cost per wear, absolutely. I mean, mine was a gift anyway, but if I have paid the 350 pounds-ish that it can be, then it would have absolutely been free. So this seems like an expensive scarf in comparison to say a scarf from Topshop or ASOS, but if you were to compare it to like a Louis Vuitton scarf, then it can be over a thousand pounds. So actually it's a good intro to designer scarf when we are talking about intro to designer pieces. It's also very recognizable Burberry. You know, everyone knows that this is a Burberry scarf. This is the classic check. And now you can get so many different ones. You can get a much bigger one, which I actually got my mum. It looks very similar, but oh my goodness, it's almost softer and bigger and it's more like a blanket. And then from Vista Village, I actually bought myself a really nice cape, which is, oh my gosh, it's basically just like a giant version of this. What I'm saying is there are so many different designs out there now. You don't have to go for the traditional check one. Or if you have the traditional check one and you think, oh, I want to kind of mix it up this winter, you can get a different one. I bought my boyfriend a Burberry scarf and I didn't get him a check one. I actually just got him like a brown one because it's so well made, it's cashmere, it's going to last for so long and he absolutely loves it. So it's up to you. If you want the traditional check, I don't blame you. I absolutely love the traditional check. But if we take away the traditional check, what you have is a beautiful cashmere scarf. So like I say, you can get the big print ones, you can get the small print ones. There are so many different variations, lots of different colors. You know, it's completely unisex. So I could have got this one for my boyfriend, but I decided to go for a dark brown one. And I just think it is such a beautifully made scarf. So, is it 100% cashmere? Yes, apparently the Burberry scarf is 100% cashmere made in Scotland. Mine says made in Scotland, I don't know if they are made in Scotland anymore, but I believe they are. And it does keep me warm, even though it's quite thin and lightweight, like I don't know how something so thin keeps me warm, but trust me, it does keep me warm. There are so many different ways to wear it, obviously it doesn't go with this dress, but you'll see pictures of me on screen wearing it, because I think it goes so well with so many different outfits. You can just wear it open like this, or you can wrap it like this or you can kind of pull it around like this you know in really cold weather i will literally pull it up like this there are so many different ways to wear it there's also the way where you go like that you make a loop and then you put it in i know my friend christina her boyfriend always wears it like that so it completely depends it literally does not matter in my opinion how you wear it that's completely up to you you could also just wear it like this and have it as more of a shawl. But it's actually quite a versatile scarf, I have to say. Mine has been stuck in the rain, stuck in the snow when I lived in Canada. And like I say, it's still absolutely beautiful and absolutely perfect condition. In terms of styling, I'm gonna pop some stuff on screen showing you how I style it. I personally think it looks really cool with like an all black outfit, just because I think it adds a bit of something and it's not too noisy of an outfit. I also love pairing it with my Burberry trench. Burberry knew what they were doing. They knew that a trench should go with a Burberry scarf. It's such a classic look. Basically any camel coat or anything brown goes really nice if you pull out the tones inside the scarf. They are the things I personally think that sit best with it. I have absolutely worn it with white though before. I just think neutrals go so nicely with it. I think it just adds a really nice smartness and autumnal vibe to any outfit. Okay, in terms of pricing. So if you asked me five years ago if Burberry scarves go on sale, I would have been like, absolutely not. But in recent years, Burberry scarves have gone on sale. I managed to get my mum one with 20% off. 
So follow me on Instagram because I will absolutely let you know the best prices and the best sales. The Burberry website do do sales, but I don't believe the traditional check goes on sale. Like I say, you can get a few different colours and I got my mum's big scarf, but the traditional check, even at Mr Village, I haven't seen the traditional check on sale, but different variations of the traditional check and different colours I have seen on sale. So very scarves range from around £320-£350 pounds, and you can usually get around 20% off them depending on time of the year. Usually that would be Black Friday and Boxing Day or like I say if you go to Mr Village and you want a completely different one without the check or I remember they had like a bright blue one with the check or an orange one for example. Kind of some different limited edition designs you can pick up there as well. But if you are wanting to buy online, like I say, I will link below because I did see a store the other day with 20% off a fair few different Burberry scarves. I really hope that answers any questions you had. You know, resale value is really good as well if you did buy one and you decided you didn't like it. But I promise you, if you buy this as a gift to someone, you know, it's the gift that keeps on giving. I am proof. I have had it for seven years. And in terms of cleaning it, I have had it dry cleaned. But genuinely, it is such a perfect staple piece for your wardrobe. It's going to get better in time, and it just adds to every single outfit that I wear it with. So I really, really hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. Thank you so much for watching. Come say hi on Instagram and Twitter, and don't forget, everything will be linked below.